Welcome to the New York Stock Exchange, Sanaina. Thank you for having me here, Trinity. Absolutely. So let's start talking about Hess. I want to know how the company is approaching the low carbon transition overall. Hess has a long-standing commitment to sustainability. We believe and we support the Paris Agreement goals, and we've recently made a net zero commitment to achieve net zero scope one and scope two on a net equity basis by 2050. We've had aggressive five-year uh, targets in the past that we've met and we continue to do so in the future. And we report progress against these targets in our sustainability report, which we've published for the last 25 years now. Our technology team is piloting and analyzing technologies that make sense for us. These are expected to have more medium-term and longer-term impact. And then for the remaining emissions, we'll be using financial instruments like carbon credits as well as renewable energy credits. And in addition, uh, we're funding innovation at the Salk Institute. The Harnessing Plants Initiative is working on making wider and longer routes so that they can store more carbon directly from the atmosphere. The carbon credit projects in Guyana, how did your organization identify and move to making these investments? Ending deforestation was one of the biggest pledges that was signed up for in COP26. About 140 countries, including Guyana, signed up to that pledge. Guyana has an opportunity with oil. It's a key part of Hess's portfolio. But they also have an opportunity with their forests. Guyana is one of the densely forested countries in the world with more than 18 million hectares of forest cover that has the potential to store approximately 20 billion tons of carbon dioxide equivalent. And so putting these together in December, Hess and the government of Guyana announced one of the world's largest forest preservation agreements. And what that means is Hess will buy verified high quality Red Plus credits directly from the government of Guyana for a minimum of $750 million. And the government of Guyana will use these proceeds towards its sustainable development goals, with 15% of the proceeds going directly to its indigenous communities. Now, do you have any advice for companies that are just starting off on their net zero journey? Sustainability has to start right from the top. You have to have buy-in from the top, and then it has to be reinforced at every level below. We have a climate task force that reports up to the president that has cross-functional leadership with across various groups in the company that meet on a regular basis to discuss all topics climate. The world is going to need approximately 20% more energy till 2050 as the population grows. And at the same time frame, we have to get to net zero in terms of emissions. And so saving the world's forests are a real opportunity and a step in tackling this challenge. The development of a stable voluntary carbon market is going to be a key priority if we intend to achieve this goal. Well, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you, Trinity.